He's got his nose, um, his eyes, <laughs> his cheeks. But Grid Ryan Thornton has never met the man he resembles, his father, Dennis Ryan Thornton. I wish you could have met your dad. Lively Mills describes him as funny, a family man, artistic, loved music, food, and cooking, and he swept her off her feet. On the morning of August 6th, Mills and Thornton went together to her doctor's appointment in New Braunfels. I knew something was wrong, like really wrong. As we walk into the hospital, um, his eyes aren't tracking. They can't hold me, and I'm having to repeat myself several times. Mills says she told Thornton to stay downstairs because he didn't want to go into the doctor's office, and she went upstairs for her appointment. Mills says before she walked in, she told the receptionist she'd like someone to check on Thornton. I thought, you're in the safest place possible. You're in the hospital. If anything goes wrong, you're right here. I thought I did the right thing by having eyes on him when my eyes couldn't be on him. When Mills got out of her appointment, police told her they couldn't find Thornton. And I'm like, okay, um, that's not abnormal. For the, out, throughout the year that I've known him, and particularly the, the six months leading up to this, sometimes Ryan just needed quiet. And he would always, like, reach out. But he never did. San Marcos police say when they eventually found him, he was on I-35 over Posey Road after multiple callers told them a man was running in and out of traffic and acting erratically. The officer who approached Thornton says they asked for his name. He responded with incomprehensible noises, then charged at the officer. He was tased and eventually put in a full body wrap restraint. Why wasn't EMS called? Why wasn't he given water if he truly was not audible? Officers took him to a local hospital. His body temperature was 108 degrees. Thornton died at around 830 that night. About 24 hours later, Grid was born. He is the greatest blessing that he left me with.